Formula One's 2021 championship was one of the most closely fought championships in recent years. Max Verstappen won his first ever F1 championship title and denied Lewis Hamilton the chance to win a record-breaking championship. This rivalry with Verstappen has only increased Hamilton's desire to improve on his impressive 2021 season as he tries to go one better this year. First up, Hamilton vows to be a more aggressive driver in F1 2022. Lewis Hamilton, despite being lauded by many as the greatest F1 driver of all time, doesn't let an opportunity to improve his credentials pass by. He enjoyed a fantastic battle with Red Bull's Max Verstappen last year, eventually losing out to him, but has reiterated his desire to get better. Throughout their season-long battle, there was a common theme of controversial collisions and Verstappen's naturally aggressive approach was responsible for it, generally countered with pulling out by Hamilton. Now let's talk about Hamilton's matureness. Lewis Hamilton's greatness remains in the fact that he's always looked to add more skills to his natural arsenal. More than a decade ago in 2011, Hamilton was criticized by many because he had a very aggressive approach to driving. He responded that his car, the McLaren, wasn't as fast as the rest of the cars, and in order to have an advantage, he required this aggressive approach. If there are some old fans around, like us, they'll know exactly what we're talking about as Hamilton was quite aggressive in the old days. His aggressiveness came under fire because he was involved in around five collisions with Felipe Massa. In the same response, Hamilton added that if he had a faster car, he could take on a less aggressive approach and could cruise around. It looks like the Hamilton of late has actually gone on to become less aggressive. This can be coupled with the fact that he's been blessed with a fantastic car in Mercedes, and his strategy is usually to gain enough ground on the rest early on. Plus, with age, drivers tend to get more mature and realize that speed and aggressiveness aren't the only two tools required to win championships. Also, it always helps to have the fastest car, as it can help you tone down aggression and avoid incidents. However, that being said, every champion in F1 has bent the rules and played a bit dirty because without that hunger, winning becomes impossible. It's hard to find a clean serial winner. More than anything else, Hamilton's management of his tires separates him from everyone else. He doesn't need to be aggressive because he can go long periods without changing the tires. And this separates him from the rest of the pack as others tend to change tires much earlier compared to Hamilton. As a result, it allows Hamilton to build a psychological advantage over everyone else, even though everyone has to change their tires. Now we have Hamilton's new approach. While his mature approach has yielded so many results for him, it looks like we might see Hamilton reverting to his old aggressive driving style in 2022. This year's championship promises to be even bigger, with most of the teams bringing out some fantastic cars. Mercedes, an unlikely exception, as they're still struggling with speed, and there's no doubt that they'll manage to sort it out as soon as possible. However, they've already had two underwhelming results, and that could indicate why Hamilton mentioned the aggressive approach in the build-up to the Bahrain GP. It might be the case that Hamilton realizes that there are better cars around him. Of course, there's so much more to racing than just having a better car, but Hamilton will have to be more aggressive if he wants to be in contention for winning his eighth championship this year. Another reason for doing so could be the fact that the likes of Verstappen and Leclerc are aggressive, naturally. Maybe it's the age factor, but both of them are much younger and a lot more aggressive. And if they also have a better car, they might use Hamilton's early lead strategy on him. Although Hamilton's hardly naive, he did mention that he doesn't consider this season from a revenge viewpoint. He wants to become the best version of himself and wants to drive as aggressively as he did towards the end of last year. This desire, this hunger, makes him unstoppable. Hamilton pointed out that just because there were some collisions during the races last year, it does not mean that he will back out of challenges this time around. Plus, given the slow start that Mercedes has made, they already have a lot of ground to cover and this might just be the best way of doing so. We did catch a few glimpses of Hamilton's aggressive driving during the Saudi GP when he moved up to 6th from 15th, but that was at the end of some rotten luck. All in all, if we're going to be witnessing an aggressive Hamilton on top of Verstappen and Leclerc being themselves, this could be a season to remember. Next, Hamilton's mental and emotional struggles. Lewis Hamilton opened up about his mental and emotional struggles over the last year. The Formula One driver explained how he had a tough year, mentally, and struggled to be positive about things, given everything that was happening around us. He reassured his followers and fans that having a tough time is normal, and going through hardships is common, and they should know they aren't alone. How sweet of Hamilton to take out the time and open up. We need more athletes to do the same. He's been vocal about the struggles of dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic and described how lonely staying in the bubble can be. A lot of professional athletes have joined in and talked about the struggles of isolation and living in a bubble, and Hamilton used his platform to explain that asking for help's never a bad thing. This mental health awareness can go a long way as athletes tend to inspire so many people, and if they use their platform correctly, it can do wondrous things. Over the last weekend, Hamilton was in the practice sessions of the Saudi GP when an oil 
Coral Storage Facility became a target of a missile attack some 10 miles away. He opened up after the race about his relief that everyone was safe and he was just happy to be going home. His support for his fans and the reassurances are lovely to see as he told them that we're going to get through this. Next up, Saudi Arabia's Minister of Sport invites Lewis Hamilton to have talks. Hamilton expressed his concerns over the Saudi GP last year and did the same this year over Saudi Arabia's record of human rights violations. He was open about it and explained how he didn't feel comfortable being in Saudi Arabia and how it was easy to make a difference as we are in 2022. Good on you, Lewis, for speaking out. His comments also showed that he wasn't just talking about the political situation as part of the narrative and genuinely wanted a change because he even offered to be a part of the discussion. He said that he believes it's crucial to learn more about things to bring about a change. After the missile attack during the practice before the race in Jeddah, the sports minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Abdulaziz bin Turki Al Faisal, extended an invitation to Lewis Hamilton to invite him in person. The minister said that he knew about the comments made by Hamilton and about some of the problems he had regarding Saudi Arabia, and as a result, he invited Hamilton to chat about it openly and frankly. The sports minister is of the view that Saudi Arabia is moving in the right direction, and while they aren't perfect, they're doing everything they can to bring about positive changes. Next, Hamilton doesn't know when Mercedes's issue will be fixed. To say it has been a poor start for Mercedes this year would be nothing short of an understatement. They're already miles behind Ferrari and Red Bull, and according to Lewis Hamilton and his teammate George Russell, they don't know when these performance issues will be fixed. Mercedes has been struggling mainly with their straight line speed and downforce, and that's hurt Hamilton's performances as he remains out of contention in the first two races of the 2022 campaign. Earlier, he voiced concerns that not a lot of differences can be made in a few days, and he was right as they struggled to maintain their speed. After the Saudi GP, he explained how he couldn't keep up with Haas. It was also Hamilton's worst qualifying result since 2009, and it's safe to say that the car deserves a bit of blame, at least. Despite the shocking result, he made good ground to get up to 6th from the 15th at one point, but terrible luck meant that he had to settle for a 10th place finish by the end of the race. Either way, Riot Hamilton and Mercedes off at your peril. They are too experienced to stay down for long, and we expect to see a swift recovery. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have anything to say about Hamilton's decision to be more aggressive or any of the other news we covered? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.